go ahead over here. Okay, thank you, Kay Dupree with League of Women Voters. We realize that the final bill that you're going to be asked to vote on once it comes on the conference committee is not going to have all these details necessarily exactly like you've described. Sure. But there's going to be obviously some negotiated changes and all that. And I have appreciated hearing you previously um, declare your desire to work on a bipartisan plan for health care. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested in what plan elements that you think might actually make it uh, and, and uh, be able to be supported in a bipartisan way. That was one of the whole purposes for me putting a big plan out there, which was, um, I'd say about 70% of the bills and the ideas and the bill I proposed are, are elements of bills that I have with Democrats. Um, my transparency legislation I have with a Democrat. My electronic record where I give patient privacy and ownership of the records, that's with a Democrat. Um, a lot of the state-based exchange systems and the reinsurance, a lot of Democrats support that. So what my, I wrote this with a few legislative partners. Our intention was to come up with a bill that we thought would achieve uh, and attract bipartisan support. Because, as I mentioned, there is a problem that does need fixing here. Um, unfortunately, that is not where this thing is going. Um, for bipartisanship to occur and to work, the majority party has got to be willing to collaborate with the minority party. And the majority party is not willing to do that right now. Now look, Republicans did this to Democrats, so I'm not saying, you know, they're all bad and we're all good, but right now, that is not happening. I mean, the chairman of my committee told me in very so many few words, got in Charlie Ringo, look, we got the votes, we're doing it the way we want to do it, we want to vote for it, great, we don't need you, we're going it our way. That's basically what he's told us, and that is where this path is going right now. So, there, we've attempted, I've been trying to meet with Blue Dogs and others, I've met with, I've met with some Senate Democrats, I've met with as many Democrats as I could, right now, there is no attitude no attempts, no willingness of the majority party to work with the minority party right now to do what you're advocating, which I would hope for. My personal belief is if we're ever going to get to that, this bill or anything like it's got to be scrapped and we've got to start over again. Supplementary 
private insurance to fill all the gaps that exist between your Medicare insurance because Medicare is incomplete. But even this incomplete Medicare system itself, because of the way it's been run, because of many circumstances, if we want to keep the promise to Medicare for the boomers, for my generation, 38 trillion, 38 trillion dollars that have to be set aside today, invested at treasury rates, in, for, in order for this program, which is incomplete and not comprehensive, to fulfill its promises. I mean, so, it is not a system one would want to emulate for the rest of the country, because quite literally, it would bankrupt the rest of the country.